All right, hello guys. Welcome to our weekly forecast from August 18th through August 25th. But before I get started with this video though, I would ask that you do subscribe if you do like weather related content and also make sure to check out the links in the description and the pinned comment that will take you to our social medias and discord server, which is getting a lot of members now, which is pretty exciting. Now we're going to look at our precipitation forecast first things first, and there is three areas of below average precipitation. One that extends from the Northern Rockies down through into Texas, and then even has a medium shade of brown there, which is where we're going to experience even more dry than average conditions than in the tan shades. So this is going to be an area of pretty dry conditions. It will be quite humid, but as far as precipitation is concerned, it will be quite dry. We also have a similar area for Southern Florida there where we're experiencing some slightly more dry than average conditions there from basically Jacksonville South. And you can see we even have a medium shade of brown there, which is, again, same story, pretty dry. And then we have a tan shade from Minnesota over the Great Lakes and then into New England, where we're ex going to be experiencing slightly drier than normal conditions. Then we do have a more wet than average conditions here for Nebraska, Kansas eastward. As you can see, that extends down south into Arkansas and then some of the northern Gulf states and then into the east coast states like South Carolina, North Carolina, Virginia, Delaware, Maryland, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, and it you know, takes over that entire area with slightly above average precipitation. It'll be mostly thunderstorms, but there could be some storm, low pressure systems that move across and bring some more uh, consistent precipitation, obviously. And then we have our medium shade of green there from Kansas in through Missouri into Kentucky and Tennessee. Again, this is just like the lighter shade of green area, just a little bit more consistent with that above average precipitation and a little bit more above average than the rest of the green areas. Now to move on to your temperature forecast, there's a lot going on here. You see warmer than normal there for Idaho, Montana, down southward into the four corner states. We get that medium shade of orange from the four corner states into Texas and into Louisiana, Mississippi, Arkansas. All of those areas are going to be moderately above average. It's going to be quite warm. And then you can see we have that third shade of red for I think a third week in a row. We're using the third shade of red here for northern Texas and areas in Oklahoma. It's going to be very, very warm in these areas. We're still having that death ridge in that heat wave for this area. Though good news is, and I didn't mention this in the special note segment, we're going to basically be getting closer to average as the week goes on and it's going to be cooling off as the week progresses. So be prepared that we are going to be getting a little bit less hot as we move on. I know that's a lot of good news for a lot of you out there in Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas, areas like that. We are going to be getting closer to your average temperature than we have been in the past. It's going to be warmest right at the beginning, uh, basically tomorrow. And it's going to be cooling down from that point. And then you can see the East Coast is in that slightly above average temperature region. Uh, New England might be closer to average if the trough is a little bit further east than we're expecting, but for now we're going to keep it above average. You see there is an area of slightly below average temperatures there for the Dakotas in through Minnesota, Iowa, some of the Great Lakes states, Indiana, Illinois, Ohio, Pennsylvania, areas included. And those are slightly below average temperatures. Again, this won't be too noticeable, but it, on paper it will be below average. But before for your third shade of blue here for Minnesota, Wisconsin, Michigan, northern Indiana, northern Illinois, and areas of Iowa, this will be a little bit more noticeable as it's going to be a little bit further below average, and it, it could be you know quite pleasant temperatures actually. It could be right around room temperature or a little bit below it sometimes, so could be a little bit cooler than what we're used to in August for these regions. Now, here's your special note, your first one. We have extreme heat, obviously, for Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas, New Mexico, Louisiana, Arkansas. That's we're going to be experiencing very, very far above average temperatures. But again, it is going to be cooling off as the week progresses, but it will still be above average at the end of the week, most likely. And for your final and second special note here, we only have two today. There is some tropical activity possible there. Uh, during this time frame, I think it's going to be towards the end. So 24th, 25th is when we'll possibly see some tropical activity. Keep in mind, if you're in Texas, I'm calling for you to have below average precipitation. But if you do get that tropical activity on the 24th or 25th, that could change that in a heartbeat. So be prepared for that. Again, if a tropical system does hit these regions, expect above average precipitation, obviously, as that storm would bring above average precipitation to your area for the whole week. Anyway, guys, I hope you really enjoyed this 
weekly forecast that I made today. A lot of you are new. I'm getting a lot of new subscribers right now. If you did watch this video, I do these once a week, every Sunday. So be sure to look out for those. I hope you really enjoyed the video and I hope to see you next week. Have a great week, guys.